Okay, today we're going to make a bootable USB to install iOS, uh, no, OS X El Capitan. This is the same process for Yosemite and Mavericks and just about everyone before El Capitan and it'll probably be the same for macOS Sierra as well. It's going to be quite a quick one today and then if you need to know how to actually use the USB stick disc after then you can find the link to that video up there or maybe up there. Um, so first thing you're going to need is a USB stick uh, which is at least 8 gigabytes for El Capitan 8 gigabytes is sufficient so we just put this into the computer there we go wait for it to come up there we go and then we're going to open terminal so come up to the wee spotlight finder thing and right terminal enter I'll take you into the terminal and the command that we're going to use for this, I'll put into the description below, it's a standard command. We need to have a administra a administrative p permissions. We're running this program here, Create Install Media, which is actually on the El Capitan build. The volume, this is where you're going to put the path to your disk that you've just plugged in, your USB disk. And the application path is basically this uh, El Cap app. So here's the first step we need to download El Capitan. Go to the Mac App Store and then just type in the search bar El Capitan and then hit download and and then it'll ask you to enter your password just do that and then it'll take a wee while to download. Here's a speeded up version of it, sped up version of it um, and then back to this. <laughs> So coming at the terminal and um, we need this here. So the first thing we need to know is what the path to the volume is. So we've inserted an 8 gigabyte disk called Untitled so we can go to CD slash volumes and then we're in volumes and just type LS and then we can see Untitled there. So that's, that's the path to it. Slash volumes slash Untitled. It's not too picky about capital letters or anything like that, you can put them in if you're particularly bothered, so we're not going to bother with it just now. So we can run this command like this because everything is an ab absolute path to the, the different things, so just copy that, command C to copy it, come up here, command V, and then we're just going back, 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 back to here, delete my volume, so it's always going to be volumes, and type in untitled, untitled and then hit enter and it'll ask for your password uh, because you need to be have administrative right put in your password hit enter again to continue we need to erase the disk at volume slash untitled if you wish to continue type y then press return and there we go so it's erasing it first and now it's unmounted it now you can see it's come back up here and it's called install OS XL Capitan and then it'll just copy the files over to that and then it'll tell you it's done and you can eject it and when you plug it back in it'll be ready to use and then in the other video where we look at how to install OS XL Capitan so we'll just leave this going until the end anyway so you can see what happens So that's it done now, uh, you can see it just says copy complete, making disk bootable, copy and boot files, copy complete done and the disk is here. So we just need to eject that and there we have it. When we insert this into the computer later when we're going to do the clean install on, we'll see how to use the bootable El Capitan USB disk. And that's the end. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.